So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your particular quest headset, whether it's Quest 2, Quest 3, or even the Quest 1, you might be getting this little pop-up that says the Oculus Core mobile services, you know, keep stopping, and there might be some sort of a loop that ends up happening here. Now, the very first thing I would recommend doing here for the most part is to just go see if you can just restart your particular headset. This is by far the easiest ways or one of the easier ways to fix this type of problem, because if you're running into this type of issue, before you reset it or anything like that, just try going through and just try seeing if you can restart it. Chances are, if you're able to restart it, hopefully you're able to do it, that way you don't have to reset it. But if for some reason that doesn't end up working, maybe your only option is to go ahead and actually restart it and reset it. So what you can try doing here, if you wanna do a factory reset, you can either use it via the hot, you know, the headset or the phone. What you can do is if you have the headset, just turn off your headset completely. So hold down the power button, then hold the volume down button and the power button at the exact same time until the boot screen loads into your headset. Then you want to go ahead and use the volume buttons on your particular headset to highlight the factory reset. And you want to press that power button. Now you want to use the volume buttons again to click yes. And you want to click the power button once again to actually fully, you know, factory reset it. Now this is going to delete everything from your particular headset. So if you've had a cloud backup or anything like that before, then there should be some sort of way of recovering, recovering some data. And if you have any games that you actually had to log in to an account, that data should theoretically be saved as well. It's not a guarantee, but it is one of those things that you can do as well. So keep that in mind. That's really the only other way to go and fix this problem. If you're able to go ahead and boot it back up, I would recommend immediately updating that particular headset. That could be another thing I'd recommend doing as well. But those are essentially the main ways to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well done.